Okay, so let's do one more while loop just for the reinforcement. Uh, here's the end result. We're going to do our pink and red hearts again. But um, let's, uh, let's take a look at this code here. All right, so starting with uh, loop counter i, okay, again with the while loop, you have to put your loop counter down before you even start thinking about the loop. So I'm starting with loop counter i, starting my count at 1, and then I'm going to say while i is less than or equal to 5,000, I'm going to do the hearts, and um, of course increment i. So, uh, yeah, just to reiterate here that, you know, first time through the loop, i equals 1, right, because we started it at 1. Is i is, is 1 less than or equal to 5,000? Yes, it is. We get a true, and we get two hearts, okay? Then i goes up to 2. Is 2 less than or equal to 5,000? Still true. We get another two hearts. So it's just going to keep going and going and going until i becomes 5001 and then the loop finally ends okay so with that in mind i want to do a variation on this um you might see uh, you know we, we talked about the for loop right and now we know a little bit about the while loop there's one more style of loop it's kind of like the while loop but it's almost like an upside down while loop it's called the do loop the do loop sometimes called the do while loop all right but let's just uh, let's use this one, this loop with the hearts, to uh, demonstrate. What if, you know, I can start i at any value I want. What if I start i at 5,001? Okay, I'm going to start counting at 5,001. And then my loop says, while i is less than or equal to 5,000, print the hearts. Okay, so when I run that, not surprisingly, I don't see any hearts, okay? And um, that's why this condition, it's because this condition was never true to begin with, okay? 5,001 is, le is um, greater than 5,000. So, I mean, this was false right off the bat. And so I didn't even get a single iteration of that loop. So with that in mind, let me convert this to the do loop, okay? I'm going to put do at the top. And the condition at the bottom, and then when you do this loop, you do have a, a semicolon after the condition there, okay, which we did not have when it was just a while loop, all right. So now I've kind of turned this loop on its head. I put the condition at the bottom, and I'll bet you can even tell just instinctively what this is going to do. Let's run it. Okay, so I got at least two hearts, two hearts. Okay, so what this does, when you put the condition on the bottom, it means you are guaranteed at least once through the loop. The condition is still false right off the bat, always was. But with the, the do at the top, it's, it's like saying here, do this once, at least once, and then decide whether or not we're going to get another iteration and another and another, okay? Or maybe it's just that once, like it was in this case. So the do loop really guarantees at least one time through, okay? So you can see it's like a while loop, but almost like an upside down while loop. And the, the effect is that you're guaranteed at least one time through the code.